The main layout window is where you place your devices. To place a device, we right-click and select the device off the menu. There are two types of devices that can be placed on the main layout window. The first type of device is programmable or controllable from London Architect. These devices include all of the programmable DSPs in the Samuel London line, as well as the Blue 8 and the Blue 10 wall controllers. In addition to Samuel London processors and remotes, you can also control the OmniDrive and MiniDrive processors from BSS Audio. This includes the FDS 366, the 336, and the 334. You're also able to control many of the Crown PIP cards. The Crown PIP cards can be controlled, but not programmed from London Architect. In practical terms, what that means is that you can control any of the state variables on the Crown PIP cards, you can trigger presets on the cards, but you cannot store presets on the cards. You also cannot set up the cards. You cannot set their IP address, their IQ net address, things of that nature. London Architect is only able to control those cards, not configure them or program them. Two other devices that are part of the Sound of London family are the Blue Bib and the Blue Bob. These two devices sort of straddle the line between the programmable devices and the representational devices we'll look at in a few minutes. The bib and the bob cannot be programmed from London Architect. However, by clicking on a bib or a bob and going to properties, you can assign Blue Link channels for that device. That will not program the device. It will not change the functionality of the device. However, it will cause a graphic to appear on the device, which illustrates how the dip switches on the rear of the device should be set to program the device for those channels. The second type of device is a representational device. These devices cannot be programmed or controlled from London Architect. They exist purely to illustrate your system on the main layout window. Double clicking on these devices will not produce a control panel. There's no way to control them, modify them, or change them in any way. In addition to illustrating your system, these devices can also be used to start or facilitate signal name following in HiQnet London Architect. When a programmable device is placed in London Architect, you'll notice that all the inputs say no name next to them. The signal on that input has no name by default. If I take a representational device and give it a name in properties, and then wire that device to one of the inputs on the Blue 800, that name will be carried forward into the device. That name will appear on that signal anywhere that signal happens in the device either on the main layout window or later in the configuration window. If that device goes through a source selector, the selected source's name will follow through to the output. We'll look at that in detail later. It's important to note these wires don't actually do anything outside of London Architect. If I take the PC and wire that Ethernet port to the Ethernet port on a Blue 800, that does not give me control of that Blue 800. I still have to put everything on the network, I have to set IP addresses, subnet masks, all that correctly. This wire does nothing. It only illustrates the connection. If I draw a Blue Link cable in here between these two devices, that will not cause Blue Link to flow between the devices. If I have assigned Blue Link inside the devices correctly, Blue Link will be passed between those two devices as long as a cable is plugged in in the real world. If I plug in the real world cable and don't draw this one in, that also will not stop Blue Link from passing between those two devices. The only purposes for wiring on the main layout window are for illustration and to make signal name following work correctly. If you have more devices on your main layout window than what will fit on your computer screen, you can move the main layout window with the bird's eye view by clicking and dragging to show those additional devices. You can also zoom the main layout window in and out with the toolbar. By default, London Architect is configured so that scrolling with the mouse wheel will scroll you up and down in the main layout window. If you go to Tools, Application Preferences, and turn on Use Middle Mouse Button to Pan and Zoom. Now scrolling with that wheel will zoom you out and zoom you in. You can also click with the Middle Mouse Button and drag the screen to change your view.